Pale Man. And then, yeah, that looks good. Okay, ready? Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're trying to figure out which spells deck is the best in CEDH. So we have Niv-Mizzet Control, Yidris Storm, Una Consult, and my own version of Mid-Range Kess. Begin. Begin. Draw a card. Play Misty Rainforest. Cast a Mana Crypt. Crack the Misty Rainforest. Find an Underground Sea. Cast an Arcane Signet. And I'll cast a Mox Diamond. Discard a Cephalid Coliseum. Then I'm just going to pass. Draw. Flooded Streams. Pass turn. Draw. Polluted Delta. I'll pass. Draw for turn. City of Brass and tap it for a blue to cast Ponder here. Shuffle. Draw a card. Pass a turn. Roll for Mana Crypt. Uh, it's Duke Diamond. Draw a card. Cast Ashiok, Dream Render. I'm going to respond and crack. I'm going to also crack. That makes sense. I'm going to minus one and target myself, mill four, and then have everyone, each opponent, exile their graveyard. And that's it. I'm going to pass. Draw. Cast Gate Bluffs and pass turn. On tap, I will draw. Cast Taxian Probe. Target Dylan. Badlands. I will pass turn. Draw for turn. We will play a Cephalid Coliseum for turn and then pass. Untap. Roll for Crypt. Uh, it's draw card. I'll minus Ashiok one more time. Mill four. One, two, three. Four. Morphic Pool, Windfall, Flooded Strand, and Limbless Vault. Cast, cast. Dissonant Mage. I will cast Delay. Sure. Yeah, I'll let it be regular delayed. And then I'll pass my turn. Draw. Cast Glinthorn Buccaneer. Move to combat. Command and Ashiok. Pass turn. I will draw Mana Crypts. Chromox. Imprinting. Drown in the Lock. Cast Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to negate it. Okay. I'll play land for turn and pass. All right. Go to my turn. Draw for turn. Ancient Tomb. Pass the turn. Mana Crypt. No damage. Move counter. Draw card. I too will add. An ancient tomb. I would have been able to cast Kess again this turn. I'm just gonna pass though. Yeah. Cast Curiosity targeting Glenhorn. Two life to mental misstep it. Pay two life to misstep the misstep. Here comes all of the life in the world. Flash in Snapcaster Mage, leaving a blue and a colorless floating, targeting negate. Negate to target Curiosity. Cam, I am coming at you for two with Glenhorn. Pass to you. Untap. I will play land and I will pass. Draw for turn. Well, this is the first time Ashiok's gonna affect me here, I guess. Let me just remind you how much it's affecting Nate over there, too. Oh, a lot. Pass the turn. End step. Flash in Notion Thief. Roll for Mana Crypt. Damage. Remove a... Oh, I forgot to roll for Mana Crypt. Cheater. Draw for turn. Let's play land for turn. I'll cast Thought Scour, and I will target myself. And draw a card. I'm gonna send three at uh, Nate over there. That's all I got. Pass my turn. In your end step, I'm gonna pay two and cast Impulse. I'll put this one in. Draw. Cast... Stone. Move to combat. Two at Ashiok. No blocks. Pass turn. Crack my wood foot hills. Save time and crack both. I will get watery grave and breeding pool. Untap. Upkeep. And I will draw. Start doing something. I will cast Yidris. Pass the turn then. End of turn. I'm going to fetch. Did you forget to roll yeah, for mana done, I'm going to roll. I have the dice. Oh. Cheater. Get watery grave here. Draw for turn. Chrome Mox. Imprint a pull from tomorrow. Cast Demonic Tutor that card and then pass a turn untap Kess. we have a Kess. mana crypt trigger no damage draw for turn cast grim monolith cast windfall from a graveyard with Kess. flash in ophidian eye targeting glenhorn buccaneer i'm gonna cast drown in the lock choose mode destroy target creature choosing glenhorn buccaneer in response to the ophidian eye windfall back on the stack packed negation on windfall <laughs> <laughs> so the stack is clear. Let's uh, go to combat. Tyler, I'll tech you for three. And then I'll pass my turn. It's worth a shot. Draw. Cast Rolling Earthquake for excess four. Pass and turn then. Take three. Draw. Recast. Yidris. Cast. Imperial Seal. This goes on top. And I will pass the turn. All right, go to my turn. Untap upkeep. Tapping down like this to pay for my pact. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. Mana Crypt. Damage. Draw card. I will cast Kess, Distant Mage, floating one colorless mana. I'm going to cast a Mystical Tutor from my graveyard. I'll put Ad Nauseam on top of my library. Pass turn. Draw. Cast Treason Soaker. Well, unfortunately, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> Pass turn. Does anybody want one of these? Cast Underworld Breach. Go at it. Have fun. <laughs> LED in hand. <laughs> Did you want to attack before you were doing any of these things or no? No, not lines. I The only one would have been this, but... You want to attack now? I'm going to go to combat. Okay. I'm going to attack camera. So before damage, I'm going to cast Submerge, targeting Idris. Cast Demonic Consultation, naming Pact and Negation. Oh, that would have been... Four, five. Whole, all right, both win conditions. <laughs> all right, you both... 
<laughs> Alright, well, Jace and Thassa's Oracle are gone. I have great news, you're gonna get to kind of the submerge. <laughs> oh, I played that so wrong. I did so bad. I'm going to pack. I'll regrowth. Cascade? Well, let's see what I got. Okay. Return, Imperial Seal. Cast, Imperial Seal. Cascade. I feel like I just stop at this point. Go ahead. Conceding is never the play to win option. Draw a card, play a Misty for turn, cast a Thassa's Oracle. Any response? Great. Alright, trigger on the stack. We are gonna cast a Tainted Pact. <laughs> I had the slowest start. Nate's uh, consultation in response to the removal, it was ballsy. Do you think, would you have done the same thing? Uh, it's not a food chain deck. I would not have done the You're same not, thing. Yeah, I don't think you so. You know what? I, I find myself in very rare occasions where I'm actually using one of the Forbidden Tutors to Forbiddenly Toot. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's not a lot of times where I think it's worse. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> It's oh. risky. If you get rid of one of your two win conditions, with which there Nate did mm -hmm. got rid of Jace and Thassa's Oracle. So right there, he, he's not his deck isn't built to win really many other ways. I mean, there might yeah. be a way to do the odds of what are the chances of you exiling both of your win conditions with a Demonic Consultation versus how many cards are in your library. I'm sure someone could do that mm -hmm. math, um, but not us. It kind of goes to show the power then between Demonic Consultation and Tainted Pact and how Tainted Pact kind of gets you around so many of those. Scenarios. I love Tainted yeah. Pack. Tainted Pack is one of my favorite cards. That one's oh, great. great. Then you can just go until, oh, like you want a Pact Negation, but Flusterstorm works here too, and you can just stop right now at Exactly, Storm. that was a big thing. Tainted Pact is great mm -hmm. at that Demonic Consultation. Really it sucks in that mode. Also, Tainted Pact doesn't have a mode that says you lose the game. Right, yeah. De Demonic Consultation, and there is always a chance in those top six cards, you're just gonna exile the whole thing. I have a pregame effect. Uh, it's gonna be a gemstone caverns. I'm gonna get a luck counter. City of Brass. Draw a card. Land for turn. Don't crack it. Scalding Tarn. I'll cast Lotus Petal. Jetaxian Probe. Cam. Go ahead. Gonna my first turn. Watery Grave Talisman of Dominance. Pass the turn. Draw a card. I too am gonna get Taxian Probe. I'm gonna choose Tyler. I'm gonna tell everyone one card. He has a Dockside Extortionist, so watch your artifacts. Draw a card. I'm gonna play Command Tower and pass my turn. Draw. Play Mystery Reinforced, pass to Nate. Play Gemstone Cavern, cast Demir Signet, and pass turn. I'm gonna draw for turn. Verdant Catacombs, Ristic Study. Oh my god. Pass the turn. Draw a card. I'll shock. Watery Grave. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna cast a Talisman of Dominance. Can I draw a card? You may. Pass turn. Draw. Play a Scalding Turn. Crack both of these Steam Vents in a Volcanic Island. I am going to surprise everyone by paying two and casting Dominance. Dockside Extortionist. Can I draw a card? You may. In response to this, Dockside, I'll crack this for green, and I will destroy the Rhystic. Can I draw a card? Yeah. So I'm getting three treasures. Pass to you then. I'll play Breeding Pool on tap, taking two Birds of Paradise. I'll play Wheel of Fortune. Crack Catacombs in response. I don't think it's worth doing anything. All right, I'm fine with Wheel of Fortune. I mean, I'm not, but like I have Demonic Consultation, Vista, Trick Bind, Ashiok, Muddle the Mixture, and Merchant Scroll, so I really can't do anything about it. Chain of Vapor and Utopia Sprawl. Fact of Fiction, Ophidian Eye, Spell Skite, Talisman, Mox Diamond, Trees, and Silver. Dispel, Underworld Breach, Mental Misstep, Badlands, Swamp, Pyroclasm. I have nothing else, so I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play Swamp. Ponder. Oh, ho, ho, three lands. This is totally getting shuffled. We'll draw off Ponder then. Cast Narset, Parter of Veils. We're gonna put Narset to three. Take a Mox Opal. It's dead, but we're gonna get it out there. Pass. Draw card. Exotic Orchard. I'm gonna cast Felwar Stone. I'm gonna cast Narset. I'll minus two. I'll get Arcane Signet. Pass my turn. Draw. Snow Covered Island. Cast a Mana Crypt. Cast a Mox Opal. Cast my Commander. Move to combat. I am sending one at your Narset, Dylan. Pass turn. Draw. I will cast Yidris. Pass the turn. Hang on. End step. I'm going to pay two, crack a treasure for a blue, cast a frantic search. Niv miss it trigger. I draw a card, one damage to Dylan's Narset. I will discard two cards, Bloodstained Mire, Mystic Grimoire, and I will untap three lands. Go to my turn. Draw for turn. Play Polluted Delta. We're just going to go fetch out an island. Minus Narset. I'm going to take Vamp Tutor. Cast a Necropotence. What? <laughs> cast the Necropotence. I'm going to respond to Necropotence. Delve six. Cast Dig Through Time. Niv Mizzet Trigger. Draw a card and then point that at the little Narset. I'm going to put these two cards in my hand. Okay. I think I'm just going to Necro for 11. I think that's a good starting point here. Coward. I'm going to cast. No, I'm just going to do it now. Everyone knows that I'm an idiot. So um, we're going to Vamp Tutor now. Goes and gets a card. Exile. Now I'm going to cast a Mystical Tutor. 
dramatic reversal. What's nice is that neither of the cards that I needed to search for were in the top 11. So we're going to pay a life to exile another card. All right. Now, I would like to go to my end step. I'm going to discard Ad Nauseam, Reflecting Pool, City of Brassful, Pull from Tomorrow, Black Sun Zenith, Dark Ritual, Steel Enchantment, Mana Confluence, Marsh Flats, and Underground River. You draw a card. Play Mana Confluence. Cast Dockside Extortionist. Six treasures. Cast, cast, Dissonant Mage. Sack three treasures and cast Intuition. I have a trigger on Intuition. Draw point one damage at Narset. In response, I'm going to pay a life. Chain of Vapor, your niv -mism. I'm going to cast Deflecting Spot, targeting Chain of Vapor, changing the target to Kess. I'm going to pass on Deflecting Spot. Now there's a Chain of Vapor on the stack targeting Kess. I'm going to flashback a Mental Misstep ping to life, countering Chain of Vapor. Mental Misstep counters Chain of Vapor. Now the thing on the stack is the one damage pointed at Narset from niv -mism. Is it? Narset's gonna die. Intuition no longer wins me the game. <laughs> Cameron, can I have one of these cards? I think you can have Toxic Deluge. Feels kind of strange because I'm and I'm killing my own Kess anyway, but I'm gonna sacrifice these treasures and cast a Toxic Deluge for five. Nim is a trigger. Draw a card. I will point one damage at Cameron's face. Cast Flusterstorm, targeting Toxic Deluge. That'll be seven copies, I think, or maybe it's six. That'll do it. Nim is a trigger on the Flusterstorm. Draw one damage to Cam. Toxic Deluge countered. Pass turn. Roll for Mana Crypt. No damage. Draw for turn. Reflecting Pool. I didn't assign damage from drawing for turn. It doesn't matter. Cast a Div Top. Use the extra colorless to look at the top three. Put him back in this order. Activate Div Top to draw the top card. Nim is a trigger at Yidris. Cast Mog Salvage. Target Demir Signet. Niv Mizzet trigger. Draw one more damage on Yutris. Float. Black. Blue. Move to combat. We'll attack him for five. Cast a Chromox. Exile Glinton Horn Buccaneer. Cast Curiosity targeting Niv Mizzet. Active negation? Niv Mizzet trigger. Draw a card. Point one damage at Yidris. Cast Mana Drain targeting Pact. Niv Mizzet trigger. Draw a card. Kill Yidris. Yep. Mana Drain happens. My curiosity is on the stack as to what's going to happen next. <laughs> Cast Div Top. Activate Div Top to draw a card. Niv Mizzet trigger. Pointed at Cam and then start going through that loop. So since you deal damage to Cam with Curiosity, Nimizit says you draw a card, you draw a card, when you draw a card, you deal damage to Cameron, and let's just keep doing that and tell us when you would like to stop. Okay, stop for one second. That kills me. Do you want to keep going on to your 16th? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan's instead. Yeah. I still think I can win it, just probably not on my turn. Tyler's issue here is that he put the Glinthorn Buccaneer under the Chromox. So now that he put the Glinthorn Buccaneer under that Chromox, he doesn't actually have a way to do the rest of the damage necessary to kill Nate. This list doesn't play a Titan anymore, and it doesn't have any way to actually shuffle his library back. Had he still have the Glinthorn, then he would be able to discard a whole bunch of cards and deal the rest of the damage. But since he's not in that situation, he has to just kind of hold Nate at bay. The issue is, he draws an awful lot of cards. 19. 19 damage. Cast a Soul Ring. Manival, one floating. You have to be careful that you can't, you don't cast too many. Pretty sure I'll be fine. I literally have my entire deck in my hand. But. I have a hand. Four floating. Two to cast Is It Signet. Cast Coalition Relic. Do you have any floating mana? I do not. That's what I fucked up. Cast a Graft Digger's Cage. Cast turn. Discarding those cards. <laughs> And sack Steven. Pass. A wall ritual? Sure, so I draw a card. One damage to you. Five. I will use three to cast Yogglonkwell. What was it? Yogglonk's will. Sure, so I draw off of oh. Nivmizit and deal you one damage. Yogg's will on the stack. I'm gonna cast Snapback, targeting Nivmizit, exiling Delay. I have a Nivmizit trigger on that that I must take. Draw, take one damage. All right, I will Pact the negation. So I draw on that Pact, deal you one damage. Pyroblast, targeting, same thing. Yep, I'm dead. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, okay. Okay, uh, so Niv kills himself and then Yudris just wins by default, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, I'm still here. I win. <laughs> this reminds me of the scene from Aladdin when Jafar wants to become a genie and he is ultimate power and it's too much and he like ends up like just destroying himself somehow or something. He gets sucked into his own lamp. Yeah, and he gets into a lamp. That's what happened. Tyler just put himself into a lamp. I guess that's going to count for Yidris getting a win there, right? Yidris. Yeah. Last man standing is still a thing. The last man stands the winner. Yeah, exactly. Draw for command tower, pass my turn. Draw. Blue to Delta, pass. Draw for turn. Tropical Island, Carpet of Flowers. I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. Underground Sea, pass. Draw card. Shock and a Blood Crypt. Cast Talisman of Creativity. 
Pass turn. End step, I'm gonna crack polluted delta, volcanic island. Cast a mystical tutor. Okay, I'm gonna put mana drain on top. Draw a mana drain for turn. Play an island and pass turn. Draw. Carpet flower targeting Tyler. Red. Play my land for turn. Play chrome mox. Exiling assassin's trophy. Mana crypt. Cast windfall. Chain of vapor. I'm gonna target carpet of flowers. Veil of summer. I'm gonna respond to Veil of summer. Mana drain the windfall. Yeah. Veil of summer, I draw a card. Pass it. Play an island and, and pass the turn. Draw a card. Flooded strand. Fell worst stone. Pass. Draw. I have three colorless floating. Snow covered mountain. Imperial recruiter. Put a dockside extortionist in my hand. Cast dockside extortionist. I'm gonna cast a spell snare. Pass turn. Roll for crit. Float two red mana with carpet flowers. Yidris. Mox Opal, pass. At the end of your turn, I'm gonna cast an opt. We're going to keep this, actually. Draw for turn, tarnish citadel, and pass. End step, cast brainstorm. Fetch, get a volcanic island. Untap, draw a card. That's so funny. Cast Thassa's Oracle. Red element blast. I will cast Drown in the Lock. ETB trigger, a whole priority, and cast Demonic Consultation. Swan Song. Sure, I just had the one back up. Uh, Thassa's Oracle trigger here for two. I'm gonna put zero on top of my library and the rest in the bottom. Gemstone Caverns, which is one of the cards that I put away with Brainstorm and then somehow drew again and passed my turn. Draw. Mana Confluence. Move to combat. Cam, okay, I'm gonna come at you for one. Before damage, I'm gonna pay three and flash in Ophidian Eye. Draw, pass turn. Go to combat. Attack Cam for five. All right, I'll take five. Go to second main. Carpet of Flowers, still two. Black. Cast. Ad nauseum. Oh, Cascade. Cascade totally fine. Okay. But ad nauseum on the stack. I am going to pay three life to make a blue with Tarnish Citadel and cast a mana drain. Yeah, you're good. Pass turn. Draw for turn. Forbidden Orchard. Let's use a colorless and a black and cast a demonic tutor. I'm going to get that. Ad nauseum. Keep this. We're going to stay here. I only have two more mana. There's not too much else I can do, I guess. Cast a Mox Opal. Copy artifact. Targeting Felwar Stone, discarding Ristic Study, Verdant Catacombs, and Marsh Flats. Go ahead. Cast Lotus Petal. Well, you guys all seem to like Ad Nauseum so much, so I'm going to give it a shot. I think we're going to have to call it quits there. All right, picking them up. Underground Sea, cast a Mox Diamond, discard a Mana Confluence. Cast Narset. I'm going to go to cleanup. I'm going to discard these cards. Pop, pop, pop. Pass turn. Draw. Play Tarnish Citadel. I'm gonna move to combat. Kim, I am coming at you with an Imperial Recruiter. Before damage. And cast a Blink of an Eye kicked targeting Narset. Draw for the Blink of an Eye. Damage. Draw one for Ophidian Eye. Pass turn. Taking three. Draw. Cam, coming at you for five. Second main. Targeting Tyler. Two red floating. Two cast Wheel of Fortune. Cascade on the stack. Swan Song. Would you like to counter your Wheel of Fortune? No. Crack for black in response. Cast a Vampiric Tutor. Force of Will. Hard casting of the Force of Will. Cascade. Talisman. In response to Talisman, I'm going to mental misstep the Vampiric Tutor. I'm already countering it. Yeah, I know, but now I get to draw more cards off of Wheel of Fortune. Misdirection, exiling Frantic Search. Misdirection is going to target Force of Will. We're just going to have Force of Will target the uh, Talisman. The Talisman's countered by the Force of Will. Mental misstep is on the stack countering Vampiric Tutor, which is also going to happen. So now we are going to wheel. Play my land for turn. Play Max Diamond, discarding the Taika. Cast Op. Cascade trigger. Oh. Oh, there you go. Cast Little Splint. All right, so Op, going to call it quits there. Draw a card. Play Exotic Orchard as land for... Oh, you're an A camera. Imperial Seal. For a card. Two life for Gitaxian Probe. Tyler Sand. Draw a card. Cast Fast as Oracle. Ability on the stack. Demonic Consultation. I have to pack. You have to pact. I am going to give Tyler a 1 1 and negate the pact. Demonic Consultation. I'm going to name Flusterstorm. Top six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, so. Casting Fluster Storm. All right, well, then I get a Thassa's Oracle uh, trigger for two. I'll put them both on the bottom. All right, well, it's been nice knowing you guys. Pass the turn. In my upkeep, I'm going to cast a Limb Duel's Vault. I think I can actually just stop there. It wasn't what I was going for, but I think it works. Go to my draw. Dockside Extortionist. Ten treasures. Four mana here for Kess, Dissonant Mage. Sacrifice four treasures here and cast a Jace, Wielder of Mystery. I'm going to use Kess's ability to cast a Demonic Consultation from my graveyard, sacrificing a treasure. I'll name Emrakul. Exit my whole library. 
and then I will plus Jace. Well, maybe this was more of a consult deck. What's the best consult deck that than the best right. spells deck, which is kind of interesting because I actually had that on the docket for a later video, the best consult list. I don't know if that'd be interesting at this point since we basically already had that. But either way, I love these kinds of decks. I love ad nauseum. I love playing with your life total. I love using the graveyard. This is my favorite way to play that. If you'd like to pick up a shirt, like the one that Cameron and I are wearing, you can do that. Um, our, we were gonna stop this campaign at a certain point, but we decided, why bother? So if you wanna buy the shirt, you can still buy the shirt. Also, if you'd like to get a play to win treasure token, you can do that by donating to one of the Black Lives Matter organizations below and forwarding us your receipt to play to win MTG at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, check out the Patreon.